Hello, boys and girls. Hey, guys. Listen, if you're sick of the pizza ideas that I'm doing, I apologize, but I got news for you. No. I've got something planned that I'm probably going to do tomorrow. Stop. That is so far from being outside the box that the normal people that think they cook outside the box can't even see me. Now, this is going to be one of those meals that is either going to be really freaking good or it's going to look good, but the, 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 the mixture is not going to go. I'm extremely excited about this one, and it's most likely getting done tomorrow. What's up, Angel? Hello, Angel. How are you? <clears throat> um, so, with that said, this these are French fry pizza taquitos, homemade. I didn't use tortillas. I used pizza dough. If you saw the videos I posted tonight, you'll see exactly how I made. Very complicated, very messy. I'm surprised it actually came out and you know the way it did they smell Should, delicious they do they smell really good it's just <laughs> they smell delicious. making them is is a messy it's a messy uh way of life good evening so bad news i caught code my wife has it and our three-year-old ah, uh, yeah I, hope I saw i saw your comment on the um the youtube the other day about your son i'm sorry about that that sucks yeah feel so better sorry. feel better feel better <clears throat> uh Cat's got uh, so pizza I too. have. I made my own pizza on that. cauliflower crust that I did not make. <clears throat> it's cauliflower crust made by Green Giant. So there is on the very very bottom there's sautéed spinach, onions, and and um, garlic. Lots and lots of garlic, like six cloves. And then I put some sauce. Then I put some grilled chicken, and then fresh mozzarella, roasted red peppers, and some basil that I plan on topping it all with your balsamic. With my balsamic that I forgot to bring to the table. But I also had a salad with the leftovers from what didn't fit on my pizza. Because hey, I didn't realize how did small. Do? So I did romaine lettuce. It was like a mixed salad in a bag. It was like romaine lettuce, cabbage, um, carrots, and then I added what was left of the peppers, the chicken, and then I put some Caesar dressing on there. Very cool. Hey, Abby. You saw the Minion movie at the drive, the drive-in. Last time the movie is so freaking good, and I watched your live from yesterday, and her Nelson's baby is here. Yes. Yeah, she's here. She's here, and she's beautiful. She's such a cute little girl. She really is. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna? I want to try I'm your cauliflower pizza. I'm gonna cut this, pizza. and then I'm gonna put the balsamic on. Did you it. have you used this cauliflower crust no. before? No. Yeah. We've had this cauliflower crust in our freezer for at least six months. <laughs> it's been in there for a while. All right, one shake down. These shakes are extremely cold, so my teeth are very sensitive, and that's why I'm not. You know, usually the the shakes go on the table and they chill for like ten minutes or so. These are fresh on the table. <laughs> They're really cool. Oh man, do you guys think mine's gonna be good? Uh, yours smells really good. Yeah, you can have one or two. Funny, I don't really have an appetite. I ate a whole bunch of bananas today, and I had a ham and cheese hot pocket dipped in mm. mashed potatoes. <laughs> Quite the combo, but you know what? It's good. Burned the crap out of my mouth too. I spit it out in front of the kids. Oh, that's good. Because uh, Kat went to the gym while they were eating dinner. I was hungry. Uh, so I'm like, you know what? I'll have a Hot Pocket and a side piece of mashed potatoes. <laughs> so I looked at the kids and I got a little kid plate. Uh, and I sat right next to them like, I'm going to eat dinner with you guys. And I tried to be a, 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 a tough guy. And I'm like, this is what you do. You broke the Hot Pocket up in half. And I scooped it in the mashed potatoes. And then like a savage, I tried biting it, and it was it was like fresh out of the air fryer. So I burned the crap out of my tongue, and I spit it out. They started hysterical laughing, and it was a damn good, uh, damn good hot pocket dinner. What's up, Tracy? Hello, Margaret. Hi, guys. Sorry to hear that Rebel Beast. Yeah, horrible. He's letting Lucky out, so he's joining us tonight. He hasn't been down here in a couple nights. He's right on. He's right on the nick of time. He came down maybe three minutes before we hit live. Kaki was shaking her hair out, and I had to go pee. What's up, Danielle? Daniel Wingo, 
How are you? All good? Yeah, I had to walk him out. When you come back, Cap, do your phone because I'm going to let TikTok in. And we're going to get this party starting. I tied my headband too too tight tonight, so Sit. I've got like Don't. that stiffness in my Sit. neck. Lucky dude, yeah, he's not pulling his crap oh, tonight. Yeah, we're gonna no. get him where mm -hmm. he's gonna be, cause not the whole. If he's gonna be here the whole dinner, nope. we gotta we gotta set him straight right away, nope. so he's not jumping up on Kaki or me the the whole stream. What's up, John? He jumps up on me more. They jump up on me. <clears throat> Love your headband, G. Ah, thank you, Margaret. Lay down. This is a this is from a tutu, nope. and the material that I use looks very nice, but it's one of those materials where it's double layered so once you cut into it it kind of falls apart like i have sparklies on it if you could see yeah there's sequins all there's over sequins it. and um once i once i started cutting into them they started going everywhere uh, i'm not having a sinus infection i have extremely bad to tmj it's making my left side of my face swollen tmj that's a jaw infection isn't it that has something to do with your jaw i'm yeah. correct you're a huge fan. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. This is your this is your first time in here. I'm guessing. Kaki, I'm gonna let TikTok in. Okay, you want to do your volume? I'm trying to Just... ward off the dog because he's about to jump. Lucky, on go me. lay down. No, go lay down. You get nothing. You get nothing. He's got, he's got those eyes on him tonight. Like I'm grabbing something, whether you guys like it or not. He's like, you're giving me something. No. Uh, three, two, one. TikTok is live and rolling. Mama llama, what's up? And Yes, Hello, first time. Mama Llama. Did you find me from TikTok or Instagram? Or did we pop up on your YouTube feed? <clears throat> Whenever somebody new pops in and they say this is the first time watching or whatever, I'm always curious to know where where you found me. Because um, I never know. Sometimes it's the weirdest thing. It's, sometimes it's it's a suggestion from a friend uh, or, a, or a message. Sometimes it's like... From your real life like hey i know you don't i see you like every other day <laughs> right <laughs> um the jaw bones keep sliding, sliding out, of, out the of the socket yeah i knew it had something with your jaw i'm sorry abby that really sucks is that cauliflower crust Jamie? for cat for yes me, yes john not me i got pizza i got thin I crust pizza dough. Crust. i've actually never I've tried cut Hey Marie, I've never tried cauliflower pizza. Hello crust. Marie. Never one time. I know it's been a thing for a long time. The first time I thought about getting it, I looked at the calories and I'm like, this is like, this is not that big of a difference. I might as well enjoy the real thing. So, and I'm a very big believer in can't substitute pizza. And well, it, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, no, go for it. And it looks see how good. it is. It looks like a margarita, <laughs> Aggie. I'm gonna try it. I'm definitely going to try. How, why would I not want to try it? You're going to try mine, right? Hello, Molly. Uh, yeah, I really want to try yours. Yours smelled so damn good. I opened the oven to see how it was cooking. I was just like, damn. One more shake. That smells delicious. It's okay, Kaki. It gave me medicine to help the swelling go down. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I still feel bad. What do we do for a living? We don't talk about mm -hmm. that. I found you guys for the YouTube recommended. Ah, it's very nice to hear. Get He's been look. watching for two years now. Hmm? He's been watching for two years now, Daniel. Oh, wow. I figured like you just recently found us. Why? Why don't we talk about what we do for a living? Because I've had people try calling up my old job to try to get me fired and make up these crazy stories. So yeah, it's so. just we find it better just not to go into detail. Yeah, we, we don't go into living. details. What's up, Matt? Hello, Margaret. <clears throat> I've been watching you guys for a few years, and I can't remember how I found you guys. I think it was TikTok. Yeah, it might have been. Oh, it might have been. happy Wednesday, Kaki and Jamie and Nancy. Hello, how are you? Uh, uh, Y'all got a nice place. That's why I ask. Oh, it's not mine. Don't think that this is my house. It's not. <laughs> What do they call it? Uh, um, there's a name. Someone, someone called me. Am I a squatter? <laughs> they gave yeah, them, we're squatting. They said something <laughs> was something weird like that. I just subscribed to your YouTube for. Uh, thank you, Molly. Oh, thank you, Molly. Your videos are the best. I Aww. appreciate it. Yeah, Taser, guys. Thank you. Uh, TikTok world, guys. If you enjoy my videos, can you do me a favor? 
and because I know sometimes the feed in here isn't great, right? And the picture might not be the best quality, but we're also live on YouTube. So if you want a better picture or... Um, we're not squatting. <laughs> Somebody like, said that Jamie was squatting. We're not squatting. We actually live here, but it's not our house. We don't own it. <laughs> oh, squatting or something like that. It was a weird thing. All right. Let's get into the <clears throat> these things. How long does it take for you to create your headbands? Uh, you know what? It depends. Tonight depends on the particular headband. Yeah, some headbands can be difficult just because um, I'll try and I'll try to make it look very professional, right? And I like to I like to you know if I were to categorize my categorize my headbands, I would say. Oh, hey, MB. They're like, hello, MB. They're like those, those, those art pictures, right? That look really nice from a distance, but the closer like you, Picasso's. I guess, whatever it is, the closer you get to the headband, the closer you can see. Like, can't make out what this is. So always looks better from a distance. I would say typically about an hour, but I also do an ankle, a matching ankle thing. Why exactly, our, Abby. Why did our names change? Whose name changed? What did our name? Our names didn't change. MB. What are you talking about? All right, let's try these. Jamie Van Lemer. Hmm. Our names didn't change. What's khaki eating? I have a cauliflower pizza that I'm in to sell. Hello, Noreen. Oh, this is good. Wow. And yes, floor, and I'm not saying your name. Yes, we both have jobs. Well-paying jobs. What did your name change to? I don't get it. How does it feel? How does it feel having a professional chef making you dinner? It looks amazing. Alice, I'm not. I'm no chef. I appreciate that, but I'm not a chef. I just, I'm, um, I don't know. I just like to have fun with food. Not yet, Daniel. We're working on stuff. It says your. It says MB on here. MB. It says my name, not. It says MB for me. Yeah. Hold on. Ah, I just dropped it on the floor. There you go, Lucky. It says MB. I'm gonna, in I'm that gonna video. screenshot it for you just so you. I'll send it to you on Instagram, but it says MB. Mmm. Tracy, these are French fry pizza taquitos. I made them. You got a little something in your stash. Yeah, he usually does. Thank you. He saves it for later. <laughs> no, I don't. Some, I don't look at myself on the screen unless someone points something out that I have something on my face. So if you do see something on my in my my facial hair, please let me know. Kathy, your your Marie, yours changed too. It still says the yeah, same you thing. Yeah, you It says the same thing for us. Yeah, hold on. Some screenshot on that too. It still says the same thing. For us, anyway. Yeah. Are you guys a fan of Stranger Things? Yes. Who? Paige. Stranger Things. Hi, Paige. I just finished season four this morning. I don't want to talk about it because I don't know who watched it, who didn't watch it. But I can't wait for season five. And I heard it's like the final season. Marie said, I'm all numbers. No, you guys look the same yeah, on here. Yeah, no, it could be there's something no numbers with... for you guys on, on our end. Um, uh, yeah, no, the number, it's all, it's just regular stuff. Oh, I, I was about to respond to a comment. I forgot which one I was doing. You remind me of Josh Brolin. Who is that? Josh Brolin. What state are you? We're in New York. Yeah, we're from New York. Josh Brolin. Why does it sound familiar? I don't know. That's not that hard. No, I'm that something. That might be a different Josh. The actor who played Thor. Oh yeah, I get him all the time. He was in the Goonies. But I thought that was somebody else. Josh Brolin, American Gangster Cop. So I've seen American Gangster. He's married to Diane Lane. Don't know who Diane Lane is. I know who Diane Lane is. Hello, Krista. Thanos? He's a singer. 
Um, let me change for me, and it's still the same. You actually look like Seth Rollins. Yeah, I get, I get that a lot. And we do not fix it. You guys are normal on our end, and then it yeah. was Abby went hopped over to um, TikTok just to see, and she said your names are normal. I don't know who Thanos is. Me neither. Do you, we always eat late? Yeah, yes. we usually eat midnight. Yeah, I mean, I had dinner with my kids tonight. Uh, oh, you did? Yeah, I had a Hot Pocket, and I dipped the Hot Pocket in, in mashed potatoes. You guys are the best. Thank you. Hello, Sly Finn. Hello, I am so happy I caught a live. Just subscribed to your socials. I was just binge watching your videos a couple of hours ago. I just love you guys. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate that. Avengers. Yeah, I think I've seen one Avengers, the first oh, one. Oh, think of the Gibbs. You're in Orange County? Orange County, New York? Orange County. We're in Long Island. Yeah, we're on Long Island. We're far from Orange County. Yeah, I'm not a big... Um, Hello, Dawn. When it yes, Sam. Hey, guys. When it comes to like the, uh, the, the Avenger movies, I've seen the first Iron Man. Maybe the second one, too. New Jersey. What's up, Dawn? I'm from Long Island. I'll be back end of July. Very cool. <clears throat> wow, I was very worried that the french fries were going to get soggy. Not the case. They're perfect. They are perfect. Try mine. I just I just ripped one in half. Mine's good too, despite the cauliflower crust. Can you tell it's cauliflower crust? Mm, yes and no. Another New Jersey. It's freezing, freezing up. up. No, not on my end, Jody. I don't know why. I think some. I think some people are having like Wi-Fi issues. Um, I ran into your, your channel, channel a few, few months, months ago, and I've been hooked ever since. Appreciate it. Hey, Massapequa area. I know where you are. You're not far. Hello, Tricky Mickey. I'm trying yours. Go ahead. Pick up one of mine and try it. I feel like I shouldn't have gotten. I'm just gonna go like that. Mm. Mm, yours is good too. This is good. It's freezing for you too. Sorry. I'm in Maine currently, but moving to South Carolina on Friday. Good for you. A lot of people are going to South Carolina. Yeah, it's. I guess it's it's up in the air with some people. Some people it's freezing. Some people it's not. Yeah. Um, a, lot, a lot of people actually, I know, is going to Carolinas. Eventually, the big dream, the end goal for us is to wind up in Florida. Yeah. But, you know, something we haven't been talking too much about. Uh, it's about the whole big, unless we get asked. The, the plan is still for us to go, we just don't know when. Uh, no stress on my end. I'll refresh over and over. Love watching you guys. Oh, thank you very Aww, much. Oh, thank you, peace. Ever since I seen you make cereal head of a Nutter Butters, I've been doing it. It's good, right? It's definitely the best way to do cereal. Alabama, I love your running videos. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. I know a lot of you guys just watch the food stuff, and I get it. Um, but I also know at least a thousand of you guys enjoy the running videos. That's nice. I'm in Virginia now, was in Florida, which I did not like, but I'm from Ronkonkoma. Oh, nice. Very cool. Why didn't you like Florida? Yeah, curious. Because when we were down there, we loved it. Yeah, and we were technically, like, the area we were in. It wasn't, like, the best area. It wasn't the greatest, but Jesus, <laughs> I didn't see any problems with it. I, compared to where we are, I'm like, this is paradise. I've started running because of you. That came from Hazy Vision. Very cool. Congratulations. How's it going for you? You should make jalapeno poppers, ragoons. I've got a jalap page. I've got a jalapeno idea. A jalapeno popper idea. Hello, Nelson. Uh, hopefully coming next week. 
this week is kind of tight. I got something crazy coming tomorrow night. It's really hot in Florida right now. Yeah, usually the usually July and August are like the hottest months. And we went during the hottest month last year. Yeah. August. Rained every day. Poured, thunderstormed every single damn day. Um, it was 109 in your city. I love the double cup. Thank you very much. You can get it on Amazon, or you can snoop around Kohl's. Kohl's might have it. Yeah, Kohl's might have it, but we found it around Christmas time. But it's definitely on Amazon. How can you see a picture of... Well, Abby, I could always send you a picture, like private messenger. If hey, Kelly. Nelson says it's okay. Uh, yeah, try so you could if you have a, a Coles near you for the double mug. Hey, check, Kelly. Check like um check check Coles, uh, and then if you can't find it on Coles, you could just go searching on Amazon. Hey, Amazon dog. has them. Texas Mama. I like the food ideas you have done. Thank you very much. Here's the thing. You guys think some of my meals are crazy? Tomorrow, as long as everything goes as planned, tomorrow's dinner is going to be, and I opened up the show this way, tomorrow's dinner is going to be so far outside the box that people that think they cook outside the box ain't going to be able to see me. They're not even going to be able to find the box. Uh, Kat is the <laughs> only one I told about it, what mm -hmm. I'm doing, and she's like, I don't know about that one. <laughs> But it's going to be good. I think it's really going to be good. It's a sweet and savory meal. The colors should go perfect. <clears throat> I don't give any of my shake, my shake recipes out. Yeah, no, he doesn't give that out. I'm not being greedy. It's just that I get, I get asked every single day and I don't give them to anybody. I have, one double mug. Said, I have one double mug. Coles told me they were novelty. Got mine on Amazon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the best place to get it is on Amazon. Because I think when my mom picked me up the um, the mug originally, she got it around Christmas it time. It was after Christmas, and it was clearance. And, like, we searched the clearance section. We saw that. And she was like, wow. And she knew really liked that. I was like, yeah, I think so, too. And then I ended up ordering more on Amazon. Yeah. Why do I weigh the food? I weigh out everything. I count my calories. I don't just eat whatever I want. I mean, I do, but everything I eat, I count for. So I, if I know I have a super high calorie meal, um, the next night usually won't be as high. If I have a high fat uh, meal, usually the next night won't be as high in fat. And that goes with all my macros. I'm, I'm kind of crazy with numbers. Oh, thank you, Christopher. Let's be rude, just curious what happened to your hands. Uh, I'm double jointed. And thank you for asking in that way. Yeah, it was nice of you to say it that way. Thank you for asking in that way. Some people are just like, rude. And you weren't rude, so thank you. No. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, of course. Only love. Appreciate it. Thank you. I uh, still don't get it, but thanks for explaining. What don't you get? I count my calories so I don't eat too many calories. And go, you know. He, yeah, he... You eat too many calories, yeah. then you get fat. I was already fat. I don't want to go back. So I make sure I count my calories and I uh, count my protein and my... You know, all that Everything. happy stuff. Everything. Uh, Abby and Nelson are uh, exchanging Instagrams. Hey, they Nelson, are because how was Abby your first wants night? to see the baby. Oh, you're still in the hospital, right? Uh, yeah, they're going to be there for a couple of days. Okay. Because she has C section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking he went home. No. Uh, hi, guys. How you doing? We're doing good, Laura. How are you? Uh, I just don't get it. The doll. That's all right. So, Nelson, the doll is asking, how is the baby? 
So how is your baby? How's the baby? How are you guys doing in the hospital? What are you Adjusting doing? Adjusting to being parents. Yeah, what do you... Because like right now you got the nurses that are helping out, right? Um, how are you... Uh, how are you enjoying hospital life? At least till Friday, yeah. You're going to be there for a few days. <clears throat> you sleeping okay? I know those hospital couches. So we have Aldi's. Yeah, we have Aldi's around here, but I never go to Aldi's. I went, I went to Aldi's once, and I wasn't blown away by it. I didn't like it. I don't think I've ever been in an Aldi's. I went to Aldi's when I was shopping for, I think... It was our son's baptism because I had to cook like a whole bunch of food. And like I went shopping there. I wasn't thrilled. I didn't like the store. I didn't like it. What didn't you like about it? They just, they don't have like fresh cut meat. <laughs> no. You know what my favorite store of all time is? My favorite grocery store. Do you have one? Oh, thank you, c -Bam. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. You both look amazing all the time on video. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Hey, do you know what my favorite store of all time is? Somebody's gonna guess it. Somebody that watches us Your every day. Favorite. I like talk food about store? this store whenever I can. Um, do you know? I'm wondering if someone. I'm really wondering, is. like, what type of store? Like, grocery like a, store. A grocery mm -hmm. store. I don't even know if they still exist. Piggly Wiggly. Yes, <laughs> Piggly Wiggly. High five. High five. Someone said Publix. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I, we have a brand new one. I got a head pillow. That's about it. LOL. <laughs> what do you say? No, Kelly said she's like, I got one too, but like, I got a head pillow. Yeah, uh, no. I don't like Aldi's. No Publix in New York, LOL. No. no. Someone in That's here. That's a store in the South. Someone in here has a Piggly Wiggly. And I'm curious to know if they still have the little piglet on the gallons of milk tops. The Piggly Wiggly is all over in North Carolina and South Carolina and in Florida. Florida. There's all kinds. Yeah. I had one in Georgia. Yeah, Piggly Wiggly is huge down south. Yeah, not here in New York. The baby is doing great. She finally ate today and was less angry and less fussy, lol. Her breathing slowed down, so it's mm -hmm. getting to be normal. Can't wait to bring her home and show her off. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, we have one here in Georgia. Yeah, I. That's. Um, that's that. When I lived in Atlanta, the grocery store that we would go to was Piggly Wiggly. So. Yeah, there was one near my aunt's house too in North Carolina. We used to go there all the time. Hey, what was that? When, because they had it down south. What was that restaurant? The burger place, I guess, the fast food place that we passed. Carl's Jr. Hardee's. Mm, wasn't it Hardee's? Is that the popular burger place down there? Yeah, it was okay. I wasn't sure. Oh, Hugs Nelson, thank you for the update. I'll let him know, doll. Ah, blessing is from Oxford. Our stream is buffering. I'm sorry. It's. It's not buffering. It's on, not buffering on, on my end. end. So I mean, I know some of you guys are having issue, if issues watching, but we're also live on YouTube. You uh, hour leave. by hour. So hopefully by Friday we can leave. If not, then Saturday. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Aloha, seventy-seven. Did I say that right? Hello. Did you like mine? Did you want one? Because I'm actually kind of getting full. So am I. Yours is in bed. Yeah, see, Tricky Mickey said it's not buffering for her. Yeah, it's not buffering for me either. Oh my goodness. Not buffering for Doll either. Ugh. Aldi must have bigger stores in other places because I watch Flava City on YouTube and the California one has shops as it's pretty cool. You guys remember Pathmark or Woolbounds? I loved Pathmark. I loved Pathmark. So damn much. And when I was younger, when Pathmark was around, I worked for their competitor. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. But I always shopped at Pathmark. 
I don't know. That grocery store we went to in North Carolina was nice, too. Oh, that was Food Lion. Food Lion. <clears throat> Didn't we? And we walked around Walmart that night, too, right? Mm-hmm. To figure out what we were doing for dinner. Yep. You know, <clears throat> those chocolate chip cookies that I got at Food Lion were really good, too. Yeah, you know, they were really good because I got up and ate the last yeah, one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I, I got up not too far after I'm you. looking for it. I pretend to be asleep. Yeah. Because I ate your cookie. I got three that was left. That previous payback for you eating my cake. I know. <laughs> or maybe that was my karma for eating Jimmy's last cookie. You know what I had last night? Came down here and had like three scoops of chocolate icing. <laughs> No cookies to even dip it in. Just straight up icing on a spoon. What's up, MT? How goes it? It goes it. Uh, week's shooting on by. Got to get through tomorrow. Got to get to Friday. Mm -hmm. Balsamic on pizza is amazing. Christopher, 100%. That's why I do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Um, they popped over from YouTube, uh, from TikTok. Okay. Paco del Taco. Uh, how many miles do you run a day? Uh, it's different. I'm still kind of hurt, but I'm having great runs. So lately, it's been in like the four mile range. Oh, thank you, Adam. It's usually six to seven. What are we both eating? Well, we both have a pizza themed meal. Yeah. Uh, Everyone messes up my name, but you're good. Baco del Daco. <laughs> I like it. I think I said it right. I like it. Yeah, guys, if you do watch the running videos, notice no complaining. I've been doing really good almost all week. Uh, Jamie, where do you get your food ideas? I don't know. I'm th I, I, they come. They they kind of enter my mind during the day, and just when I think I can't create something else. Hello, Benzel. Something just takes over me, and it's usually me thinking about. A certain ingredient that I'm catching, that I'm craving, and don't. And then the wheels go into motion. I uh, love you guys. Thank you. It's a mixture of Taco Bell and Del Taco. Kind of figured that. I kind of got that vibe. <laughs> How come you never get invited for dinner? Nobody gets invited for dinner. But you can't be invited here, like in person. But you're invited to eat with us. Yeah. That's an invitation. You can have dinner with us. I've never had Del Taco. You know that? Me neither. Uh, I watch you guys every day from Yokima. Very nice. Uh, busy. Where's your yo? Where's Yokima? Bizzle. Bizzle. <clears throat> when you were really big, how did you run? I you didn't. didn't. I didn't lose the weight from running. Uh, I didn't start running as like a hobby until like two years ago. So, uh, bro, I know exactly what you meant when you explained how you get your food ideas. I, I, I wish I could give you a better explanation, but the truth is like, I don't know. It, 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 I get something every single day, something every single, sometimes more than one. Um, it just kind of enters my mind and I think to myself, number one, will that work? And number two, have I ever seen it before? And if I've never seen it before, I'll Google it. And you know, if it's one of those crazy videos that, um, have been done before, it'll pop up on my Google search and nine out of 10 times I've never heard of it. It's because it's never been done on video. And then, like I said, then the wheels start turning. <clears throat> it's your creative side, Jamie. Exactly, Tricky Mickey. Yeah. It's just his creative side. That's, you know, what he does. I guess. Tomorrow's dinner is going to be split. Some of you guys are going to, are going to like, that's a pretty damn good idea. And then <laughs> some of you guys are going to go, I'm sorry, Jamie, but this is not for me. Hey, Sean. That's pretty funny you said that. <laughs> He said, bagel, cream cheese, avocado, Takis, weird combination, but it's amazing. Our son actually did the talk, the Takis on the, on the, you know, 
the cream cheese bagel. And he loved it. Uh, you keep the weight off because you run. How did you get the weight? Well, I originally lost the weight from dieting. And I was going to the gym. I was using the treadmill, but I wasn't running. I was like walking on an incline. I was doing the stairs. And I was, I was attempting to learn how to do weights. Uh, and I was doing like ab exercises. Uh, but I was just very consistent with it. And I didn't know anything about calories. I was under eating. So that's why I initially lost the seventy five, the first 75 pounds in oh, six so months. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, I, have, I was going to read that next. I'm sorry to hear about your pup. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That's terrible. Uh, did I'm you so watch sorry. AEW Fighter Fest tonight? Uh, I did. I did. I saw the very ending of the, the main event. Hmm. Like the Michael Jackson glove. Thank you, the doll, for the band set. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you. Christopher said that headband looks luxury. Like I, Michael Jackson's glove. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's made out of a tutu. Funny story. So, yeah. Jamie... Bought like this little girl's like dress thing. That was like thought this sequin part was like the top part, and then the bottom part was like a tutu. old black tulle. I but it was a dress. It wasn't a tutu. It was a dress. It was size seven eight. And he goes to her door. Look what I got. And she goes, "Is that for me?" And he goes, "No, it's for my headband." And she started <laughs> she started she started crying, and I'm just like. I show her my headbands every night I make them. That wouldn't even fit you. It's a 7 8, girl. You're like a 14. Like, <laughs> our daughter is very big for age, like, very tall, very lanky. So, normal size clothes for age don't fit her. <laughs> so, she saw this dress and she started crying. And she's like, I want it. I'm like, it's not going to fit you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then Kaki looks at me like I was trying to make her I'm upset. Like, why, why would you, would you show, show it to her? I said, I show her all my, my But fabric showing her I a dress it. like that, and I understand. Because if somebody showed me a dress like that, and they told me it didn't fit me, I'd cry too. On TikTok? You said there's a cake on TikTok? Thank you. Because I ate khakis. <laughs> uh, since cake. Thank you, Baco Del Taco. Appreciate it. Very nice I of you. I appreciate you sending me cake since Jane ate mine. Thank you very much. That was very thoughtful. I'm actually thinking. Oh, thank you, dog. About doing something cupcake related on Friday. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I guess it's because I've been <laughs> eating icing all week. I forgot how good just icing out of, out of the can is. See, now I'm buffering on my end. Now we're buffering. Well, guys, we're going to be ending it anyway. I'm not finished in the last three. Hello, Cali Pop. Nice too. I'll eat this one. Thank you for the gift. Yes, thank you guys very much. These are really good. Imagine if I did like a garlic parmesan outing. Yeah, that would have been good. Like some type of butter sauce. Like I could tell you a couple of mistakes. Number one. These taquitos are supposed to be rolled to perfection. But because I put too much fries in there, French fries kind of cut the cut the dough. And if you've seen the video, you'll see I was struggling a bit to, to, to wrap these some bitches. So when they went into the oven, they were kind of like half open. They look like pizza dough sandwiches. But they came out they good. Came French out fries really good. didn't get soggy, but I used too much. Instead of three servings, I probably could have... Got away with one and a half. <laughs> you live and you learn. That's one of the things about making recipes. And this has been doing this for almost five years. And I still haven't learned my lesson. Just because you weigh out a certain amount of food doesn't mean you have to stuff it all in. You don't have, you know what I mean? And I'm always one to, you know, if it's weighed out and it's in front of me, I'm going to use it all. And sometimes that could screw yeah. up the meal. I think that would have worked out better if there yeah. was only two servings of fries instead uh -oh. of three. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not even two. It would have been better if I did one and a half. Mm -hmm. Because look how these are. No, you don't. 
if, 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 let's use this as an example. There's Even though it's one, open, it still looks good. They are good. I'm talking about they would have been rolled better. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I probably could have got away with doing four and a half. You know, uh, four big ones and then a, a little one in the middle. Hey, what's uh, what up, couple? Man, you look like the coolest guy on earth. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, he's pretty damn cool. I'm all right. I like him. I think I'll keep him around. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> You'll keep me around. <laughs> I think I'll keep him for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Kaki could drop me off and then Jimmy Jam will have his first flight out here to pick my ass up. Mm. Jamie, can you tell me how you made your dinner? Um, it would be easier, Tracy, if you watched the video. It, 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 because what I'm going to tell you they're taquitos, but they don't look like taquitos, so it's it would be much easier to see what I did on in the video. Can't wait to see you guys again. Ah, oh, thank you for joining well, hello, us, man. User. Hello, how are you? What's up? Um, Our favorite person just popped in here. Oh, Our Tom. How do you know? Because I just saw him. Our Tom just joined. How? I thought he was blocked. <laughs> I think they're only blocked for the night. No. Oh. I don't think they're blocked. Well, for the maybe night. he'll he'll say I'm sorry. I accept your apology, Tom. <laughs> I won't. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you are the, like the guy of the ex expansion of the coolest guy in dictionary. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? I got a couple of them. I could give you a list, uh, a couple guys' names. Um, Macho Man, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Owen Hart, Brian Pillman. Oh, thank you, Angel La La La. Thank you. I guess Tom's not going to apologize. I like your name, Angel La La. <laughs> it's fun to say. Can you imagine if, if, if he did apologize? And then I went back to treating him like... A nice person again and then he did that shit again in like a month which he probably would do here's the thing you would do that but I wouldn't I would yeah cause I'm a super bitch yeah no I would definitely <laughs> I would do it Ric Flair I wouldn't uh I just left to get food and eat with you what happened oh nothing we're about done what I happened we ate <laughs> and Hulk Hogan is third who's first when Macho Man is the second coolest guy on earth. The Hulk Hogan's the third. You know what I, I don't understand? And this goes for you guys that are like old school wrestling fans. Why does everybody not like Brutus the Barber Beefcake? No one's got anything nice to say about the guy. I'm wondering if, and I'm such a big wrestling fan, what Aww. did I miss? <clears throat> First is you. I appreciate that. What did Very I miss? Nice. That he did that was so bad. Thank you, you I got the hiccups. You have a good night. I have nothing to give you at all. I'm going to put my shirt back on. Oh. You guys, I enjoy so much. You bring... Ah, oh, stop it, Lucky. I can't read that. You bring joy to me, like, seriously. Oh, thank you, Justa. He's not so good. A wrestler? Yeah, well, I know that. I had beers with, oh, with Brutus the Beefcake uh, at a Ruby Tuesdays after a wrestling show no. many, no. many moons ago. No. He seemed very nice. No. I'm just wondering if it was like something down. I missed that he did in the public eye. I actually ordered two furs. <sighs> I can tell you this. I can tell this quick story. I'm pretty sure I've said it on here before. But <clears throat> in like 2007 or eight. Uh, after the show, oh, thank you, Izzy. We, we all went to Ruby Tuesdays, and I was getting ready to leave, and I had ordered myself um, the oh. twofers. And you guys know what Ruby Tuesdays twofers look like. They're these thin little bottles. I didn't want to. I didn't want. I just didn't want to drink. So I'm looking at everybody that's sitting at the table. And everybody's drinking, and of course, I'm going to look at the former WWF wrestling superstar. 
and offer him it, you know, instead of just wasting it. So I looked at him and I said, I said, Brute, and I said it under my breath because um, I think he was trying to be good. <clears throat> and I go, I'm like, Brutus, do you, like, do you want to finish this? And he just kind of, almost like someone was watching him, he, he, he looks around and goes, yeah. like, Thank you, Jacqueline. Puckers oh, his it. lips and shakes his head and like nods his head yes and I kind of just whoop here you go. Right, come on. It was come very on. nice to meet you. I gotta get out of here. I really do love your lives. Thank you. Nice looking dog. Yeah, oh yeah. He, he's a good looking pup. Hi Jacqueline. Yeah, he's a he's a cutie pie. He can come up now though. It's done. Well, I still have two things left. Yeah, he's not gonna reach for that unless he really leaves. What you want him to do? Lucky do. Hello, Annette. Hello, Annette. How are you, girl? Better late than never. Thank you, Claudia. <sighs> Adorable, yeah. He's, he's a good looking pup. He, he eats everything in sight, edible or not, nailed down or not, he'll eat it. He don't care. Broccoli, too. I was surprised when it first happened. I dropped spinach on the floor, like raw spinach, like from, from you know, when cooking. And like, he'll just sit there and eat it. Hey, Princess <laughs> he don't Pants. Care. Hello, Princess Pants. How are you, girl? Uh, cute guy. Cute guy. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, he is. He's cute. Thank you, Annette. Appreciate it. Figured I didn't have to go crazy with, like, uh, All right. the decorations, like, the anything because of its, because it's so, uh, what would you call it? <laughs> I think sparkles. When you They're said sequins. Sequins. Hello, cuties. Hello, Leo. How are you, girl? <laughs> Hello. Okay, you're hurting me. You ready to go so we can get him taken care of? Yes. Clean oh, up nice and then quarters. head to bed? Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Tracy's like choking me. Hopefully the, the the meal that I have planned goes accordingly. This is going to be something you've never even seen before. Where's our vac uh Where is your favorite vacation, vacation spot? spot? Well, I mean... Two vacations come to mind that we both had a good time on. One was on a cruise ship. Yes. And then the other was last year's was last year Florida, Florida trip. So. Florida has had a special place in my heart just because I met, you know, some of my sisters, you know, who I never met before. So. Yeah. That one would definitely be number one for me. And then our cruise would definitely be number two. I mean, yeah, it was, it was just fun. For me, the whole my favorite part was yes, meeting your sisters, but like the road trip, the fam, the four of us driving down I ninety five. Jamie, try rice and salmon tomorrow. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. <laughs> the rice and salmon. Listen, no, nothing.